Hi, this is Andrew from Kite Army. I'm going to show you how to do a quick repair on the HP ProBook 430 G1. You can see this is a pretty slim unit. Um, I'm having a problem with my monitor, so I'm going to make sure all the connections are, uh, are, are, are good before I go any further with it. Before you start, you'll need some tools. You basically need a, um, a Torx Mini folding set. So I got this at Home Depot. This size, I think, is a 5.5. Um, so it's pretty small. You'll need that. Most people won't have that around your house. I like to have a little prying tool. Okay. And what's nice is just a Phillips head screwdriver and a, uh, and a flat head and a little magnet, which is nice. Keep that away from your hard drive and then also a good place to put your screws. All right. I've already taken this apart, so some of the screws are out, but I'll show you the basics of what you need to do. Um, as I said, I'm having a problem with the monitor, so I want to check the connections that are in here. The first thing you want to do is release the, do these screws right here, and also these screws right here. See, this screw has a mark for keyboard, and this one has a mark for a keyboard. If you take them off, what's really great, you can see my keyboard's already out, but if you take them off, basically your keyboard will sit like this, this, in there, sorry, let me get this straight, the keyboard will sit like this. You pull it forward to release these front pins, retaining pins up here, and then you lift it up. That right when you lift it up, this no um, no friction uh, connector will be in here. And I want to show you how you disconnect that. There's a little on these connectors. There's a little door there. You can see that will open and close. When it's connected, it'll be closed, the wire will be in there. You just get underneath there, really gently open that door, and you can slip it out. No problem. So that's how you get the keyboard off. Once you get the keyboard off, you have access to the hard drive, which is underneath here, and then you can take this top panel off eventually. But before you can do that, let me move the keyboard out of the way here. Before you can do that, you also want to, and these are Phillips heads, you want to remove this back here. This is where they have um, access to the memory. So if you want to do a memory up, uh, access uh, upgrade, this is the place you do it. Also back here, and I'll show you my little trick with the magnet. Once you get that screw out, oh, actually these ones don't come out. The screw stay in on this one and the panel comes off. As I said, you've got your memory here, you've got your wireless card here. If you have broadband wireless, it will be here. Also, there's two slots for memory. There's also a zero um, uh, uh, connection, a zero friction connection here that I've already undone, so when I take off the top. Releasing the battery is very simple. Two, inside, that comes off. Okay, so here we are. We've got to this point. I've got one screw holding my um, cover for my hard drive in. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to lift up my hard drive. That's why this tool is very handy. There's your hard drive cover. There's your hard drive right there. This little metal tab. You, you use this to pull it back a little bit. That will uh, disconnect the SATA connector. And then you lift it out this way, and there's your hard drive. So if you need to do any maintenance with your hard drive or replace that, there's that. That's a 2.5 inch. Um, you're at the point now where you need to, there's a few screws here, and there's a few screws in the back here that need to be taken out. Some of these have a little rubber grommet that has to be taken out before you can remove the screw. So again, this tool, the, gr the grommets sit in sort of like this. You use a tool just to pluck them out really gen gently and put them aside. So now you need to remove this cover. The way you do that is you start back here and you can feel it. It'll just slowly pop off. Okay, now there might be one screw that you missed. Just be very careful there. Be very careful you've got all your wires disconnected. And then work towards the front. And there you have it. So here's my connectors for my LCD panel. Here's the power for the backlight. Here's the interface for the LCD. So I'm going to check those and make sure everything is good. But in a nutshell, that's uh, how you get access to the system. You can see there's a few riser boards in here. Here's one right here for power. So if you need to replace that, you can do that over there. Um, it's pretty straightforward though. And uh, that's uh, the HP ProBook 430G1.
Thank you, Andrew from Kite Army.